Hello everybody, welcome back to No Man's Sky. Actually, on No Man's Sky this time. <laughs> this is a long fall. So we're going to get a uh, run going this morning. Um, it's actually quite early where I'm at right now when I'm doing this recording. Best time for me. Uh, I happen to be off this week, so I'm going to go ahead and do a few extra recordings and get some things put out there for y'all. So what we're doing today, we're going to do another uh, permadeath run. I know you guys have been watching or playing the Leviathan expedition and uh it's been going very interesting i finally completed this one in four hours i mean it was just i went through a different run uh than the one that you guys saw and learned a lot learned a lot about where to go and what to do and things like that i could probably cut this down to i'm thinking at least three hours um possibly less if i can get the ball rolling you spend so much time in that starter galaxy uh starter planet that it's just absolutely ridiculous but anyway let's go ahead and get a new game going permadeath no starter ship challenge is what we're going to go with here should just went the other way there we go and as you know the way we do it save deleted if we get killed everything is going to be at maximum right now. Uh, we're going to disable the tutorial. Uh, I want to thank that fella that reminded me of that, that I do have access to, to all the other parts of the game. Pardon me, all the parts that I can build in the game, so if I stretch come across some drop pods, I can increase my inventory without having to worry about anything. Now, the audio is going to be a little bit off today. I've been having weird issues with it lately. I don't know if it's OBS or if it's something else, but for some reason, my microphone adjustments keep going awry, and I don't know why. I have no idea. I've reset the microphone. I've reset the computer, reset OBS. I went through all the settings, went through the sound settings. Just for some reason, it, it makes adjustments to my microphone, and they are right now maxed out, and I can tell by the bar it's having a little trouble with it. But hopefully you can make me out pretty well. We'll keep the volume down in game, so hopefully you don't make anything out in there. I'll lower it if I have to, so we don't have as much uh, causing any issues. So let's get this started, get this ball rolling and on the way. And you see we got the timer going, so we can have a rough idea of how well we're doing. Now, one thing we're going to notice... So anyway, uh, if you're not familiar with the Permadeath No Startership Challenge, it's another name for it. It's called the Iron Man Challenge. So basically, we land on a planet, uh, we start out with no tutorial, so it's going to start out immediately, and we're going to start going anywhere but towards our starter ship, gathering materials and minerals and parts and pieces and everything we can along the way, so as to survive, to get to a ship, whether it's a crash ship or a ship at a uh, landing pad or something like that that we can buy, that's great, but the costs are so much more. So if we have to find one that isn't repaired... Um, the only thing behind the repair portion of things, as long as we find a ship, it's going to be pretty much self-intuitive that we're going to fix that thing up. But as soon as I get or acquire a ship, we're going to stop it. Um, we could take it to the full Iron Man challenge, and that would be to also fill out your whole inventory in your exosuit. So here we go. You're always facing the direction that your ship is in. We have no visor or anything like that. Uh, plenty of plants around. I'm looking for a cave. I think that could be one there, but I'm going to start gathering materials along the way. All right, dust. Yes, we do need that. We're not going to get a lot from these little rocks, but I think we have a cave right there. We need about 50. That gives us 50. Okay. We need some carbon along the way. This is not a cave. Uh, we have no visor installed, right? I knew that. I knew that. We're going to have to get some carbon, which means there's probably a little plant around here. This, nope, that's ferrite dust as well. So I'm heading in the opposite direction, as you can see. But I'm not finding any carbon anywhere. So we're going to have to figure this out. That is also a rock. That's carbon. Okay, so purple plants. Got it. We're not going to get much out of them because they're tiny. 
It usually means that there's one larger plant someplace that you can get a lot more from. We also need sodium, so let's keep an eye on those yellow plants. Hey, speaking of which, this little sucker right here. Okay, looks like there's another one across the way. Which is going to start falling drastically now that I found sodium. Is that another one? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. No harm in having a little extra ferrite dust. And we are just going to, again, hand it, head in a random direction. We do need to get things repaired quickly. Uh, 75 per. There we go. Okay, and we also need the analysis visor. We'll need a carbon nanotube. Uh, I'm not going to go for the other part just yet. If we can get one carbon nanotube, we'll be in good shape. Uh, how much do we need? We'll need 50. I got 30. And how's my charge going? We've got to keep moving. We'll need definitely need this. Because we'll need to get some health soon. I don't like to stop, but... There we go. Okay. Oh, one more. Thank you. Outcropping. Finding a cave would be great right about now. Save my hide. Before we die. I don't see anything down there. Got some sodium, though. I see a patch of sodium. That's going to save my butt. Nice. It's not a big patch, but it's enough. All right, good deal. Uh, let's get the mining beam charged up a little bit. We'll get this charged up a little bit. Nope, still need to get that going. I know, working on it. Right now, it's going to be sodium to sodium as we go. We have a little oxygen over there, too. We'll grab that. New region. So we're just wandering aimlessly at this point. That's not some kind of new uh, sound in the game. That's my cat. I expect him to start meowing soon at me until I find a place that I can stop easily to take care of him now that he suddenly decided to wake up this morning. Okay. Uh, another patch of sodium. I'll go ahead and do that for now. Just until I can find myself a cave. Oh man, I hope this doesn't turn out to be a planet that has uh, nothing. What do I mean by that? I mean, like, no landing pads, no... I think I hear a ship flying overhead. Yeah, 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 I know. Hmm. This could come in handy. Go ahead and use it. Let's see if we can find something down here. Keep our eyes peeled. Oh, going to be running out in a second. There we go. As soon as he puts his multi-tool away, he runs out. I'm already down to 34 on my beam, and I still haven't found anything. Ah, that could be a cave. Definitely a hole, but usually when you get closer. Yeah, 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 I know. I've got enough sodium, but if I can keep it. Oh, wait a sec. Nope, that's not a cave. I think it's a cave. It is a cave. All right. We're in good shape now. All right. Let's just pause here for just a second. All right. 
Let's get some cobalt while we're in here, because obviously we could use it. We'll get some batteries going. Oh, good. Already got a geode out of that. It's my fault for being in his house, I guess. Any cat owners should know that. Alright, so what can we do here? Oh, great. Ionized cobalt. Absolutely useless to me. Alright, so we can make some ion batteries. I can make one, because I don't have enough ferrite dust to do anything else. And my life support's getting a little low. Do we have enough for that? We can make two. Okay. And we can make one life support gel. I'm going to hold off on that because I definitely need some carbon. Uh, let's see. Plants. Let's see what I can get in here get kind of quiet here because we're wondering what we can use. I need, you see my beam is going down. I need carbon. Alright, so it's time, time for me to exit the cave and look for plants. But I'll come back to this cave in a little bit. Purple plants. Not those purple plants. Those purple plants. Yeah, ferrite dust is good. I know there's got to be bigger plants than these. Otherwise, we're going to have a really rough time of it here. Let's give us a half charge. Let's see if we can get a full charge out of this. That gives us 60. 60 to get a half charge, 120 to get a full charge, but we need to build some stuff. Let's get the ferrite dust while we're here. Let's keep this going. It's kind of boring this portion of things trying to get these things going, but it's 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 what you got to do, unfortunately. So the challenging part, I mean, it's obviously very challenging if you think of it from every aspect. You've got to be able to continue to get resources, find some place safe to almost like camp out. So this is a true survival type game at this point. Whereas if you do it with the normal mode or even in survival, there's the benefit of being able to say, ah, well, I died, I'll just go ahead and restart. And this one, if you die, that's it, the game gets erased, and you're done. No coming back. And I'm almost out of carbon already. So the, the ratio of carbon to... Man, the radiation, uh, pardon me, the ratio is not good but we can at least get this and get this sucker fixed. All right, let's get to our cave. Hey, while we're here. There we go. All right, so what can we make or fix? Okay, we're making this with ferrite. Okay, so now we got plenty of batteries. I'll make one more. Nope, can't make one more. Uh, let's go ahead and get a little bit more. We want we want to walk away with a lot of cobalt if we can. Now that one.
one doesn't have much to it. The top ones do. Let's see what they have as a second element. Silver. Also useless to me. Alright, one second here. And I'm sure you noticed by now we didn't even start the timer, so we'll get that timer going now. We've only we've only been going for about uh, 15 minutes, if that. Okay. So again, my health, life support is dropping, so we got to be very careful here. Let's get some more ferrite dust. Let's see what this one gives us. Should analyze it. And I just ran out, of course. What do they got? Dihydrogen is a second element. Let's get these biologicals. How many do we have on this planet? Eight. Okay, that's good. Not that the nanites are going to help us right now, but... just about every animal in the area. The thing we're looking for is we want to make sure there's no creatures that can harm us. Which they usually aren't on your starter planet. That's the good news. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to see those from here. I don't know what that was. It looks like something just... Okay. Sweet. All right. So, in order to make a life support, what do we need? I need more dihydrogen. Right? Life support gel. Where'd they go? There it is. Carbon. Which I don't have any of. Okay. So, I need to recover here in just a minute, and I need to find more carbon. I've really got to figure out where this carbon is coming from. Let's explore. I've got a little bit of oxygen on me. That can get me going for the time being. Let's explore the cave a little bit more and just see if there's something in here I can use. Stay away from those. Because occasionally... Yep, see this cave is deeper than I thought. And it looks like we have some carbon in here. Right, let's go ahead and recharge. We've only got a little bit, but hopefully enough that we can get some more carbon. See, those four things only gave us 15. That and analyze it too. Get dihydrogen out of it. But it's not worth it right now. Okay. I'm trying to look for more plants. There are no more plants in here that will give me any carbon. Okay. No, I don't think there's anything up there either. Okay. Well, what do we got? We can make one, right? No, we can't even make one, I don't think. Yes, we can make one. Okay. And we're going to use that one right now. We'll keep this one in reserve. 
We've got to get more carbon. We don't have a choice in the matter. Let's move some stuff around. There, that'll work for now. Exosuit, let's move some stuff around here too. Okay, that'll work. All right. We've got plenty of sodium for now too. Could find a way to do that. Okay. Well, let's exit this cave. Let's get the extra from this guy. There we go. He doesn't give much, but let's just see. See, he's sodium as well. Really? Ah. Not bad. Okay, I'm going to wait for that to recharge, and then we're going to exit this cave and get out of here. Nope, that doesn't do anything for me. And I would like to get some more cobalt, but... Get five more. There we go. That will give us an even 30, I think. 28. How did I end up with 28? There we go. There we go. Yeah, 30. Okay, so that'll give us three more jellies. Uh, pardon me, three more batteries if we need them. Okay, and we're fully charged. Let's go ahead and get on my way. My way. So now we got this way. I don't even know which way we're going. Let's find out where our starter ship is located that way. Okay, so we're going to go south. Let's take a look at the planet on. Yeah, let's head south. South it is. And because it's nighttime, we're going to gather up as much of this stuff as possible. Again, we need carbon. So as we go, we're going to gather up as much carbon as we can. It's going to be hard to see it because everything just turned blue on me. I just heard a ship go over overhead. That's good news. They're going that way, towards my ship. Which means that there should be a landing facility that way. But they're, but they're, they're all over the planet, so... Depleted again. So the ratio is terrible. We don't, we don't seem to be getting enough carbon in a ratio that's worth it to us. So our best bet is that we've got to find some containers someplace that has the stuff we need. Or if we can find some condensed carbon, that would be great. Ah, okay. Down to eight. Let's see what we got here. Oh, projectile ammunition. That's very handy. And a little bit of oxygen. <coughs> great. Just great. Yeah, yeah. don't have that yet, and I'm not going to be getting those yet. So I'm not going to get a terrain manipulator just yet. There's health restoration. That means that there's something else over there. So we're going to be looking for these a little bit more often now. Not that we need the health, but it's because of the other canisters that are usually around it. Got some condensed carbon out of that. That ought to charge up my multi tool. Something good. 38. Nope, nothing. We need 
need more life support gels. All right, good. Uh, where's south? South is that way. Gosh, I would like to have a terrain manipulator, but I think we're going to have to hold off for now. Now, we should be able to contain 300 sodium in my inventory. Is that another? No, just one plant. that way. That way. I'm going to go through these batteries like crazy. They're turning to the left. Okay, so it is over this way. machinery. Always try to hit those up. Hey, nothing like the underground view. Just nanites as usual. Okay, that. Let's see. I can see some pockets of Sodium down there. I see a little bit of oxygen. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Okay. How much did we get? 29. Let's put it in there. 100%. Excellent. So that's what we're going to be looking for. I'm going to try to look for more of that stuff. South. We want to head this way. We have a buried cache. I don't know if we will find the buried cache because we'd have to do develop a terrain manipulator, which I think it's getting to the point that we want to do that. So let's find some place as a protection. We have enough sodium now that we can... Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it now, while we can. We need two carbon nanotubes. Uh, which we need a hundred carbon to get that. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Thank you. I just got to find the plants that I can get carbon from. Isn't that funny? I can't find any right now. Here we go. Get enough of this. need a hundred of it. All right. Ugh, she wouldn't do that. 65. No, wait. That wasn't what I'm looking for. 89. Okay. Need 11 more. Should be enough. 108. Let's make them. Okay, multi-tool. Let's get you going. A buried cache, and one thing that'll be great about the buried cache, cache, was that it, it could be something that's valuable as well. Okay, I don't know what that is. Let's find out. We got silver. Yay. Uh, we can get rid of that for now. We're not going to be using any weapons as we go. Okay. 
Well, while I was headed this way, I noticed something else on the way. I noticed that there was, I think, some more condensed carbon up ahead, which we could always use. There, there is. Love to find another cave as well. Before the sentinels start appearing. our sodium this time. Let's get some more of this while we're here because we could actually afford to do it. Okay, good. headed south, at least that's something. Let's take a look. I can now start getting buried things like that. Plants are going to come in handy for us here at this point because we can find things that are life support oriented. I actually am thinking about heading to that plant right now. Grawberries. I don't know what they'll give us, but it might be worth our time. Life support, power, low. What does that get us? Life support. Excellent. See? Very handy. Pay attention to your surroundings. The food on the planet you're on can sustain you. A little bit of sniffies this morning. Sorry about that. Let's see, I'm going to use my sodium one more time. Gather up some of this. See, we're already halfway down on our carbon. Good grief on the mining. Let's see what we got. Let's get rid of this. Good. All right. Can we make some dihydrogen jellies? Make three of them. That should give us three life supports. There we go. Good, good, good. So we're getting there. We are getting there. First foray into money. How much did we get? Two, huh? Okay, well, that's at least something. We're headed south. We have a building right there. And there's an unknown animal on the other side of this. Probably a good idea. Oh, down below. Uh, 
Where'd he go? There, there he is. Guess what we found? There we go. And we get to recover while we're here. And let's get some additional cobalt while we're here. See, that's 35. Okay, how many more batteries can we get out of this? It's five batteries. Probably give us some more. Let's see how many we got. And more ionized, of course. That should give us 13 batteries. Seventeen all total. Excellent. And we can exit this way. There's a couple of subterranean uh, units under here, the relics. They're really not worth a lot. I'll go ahead and pick one up and I'll show you. These days it's not really worth it. You can only carry three and you get a little over sixteen grand. Seventeen thousand for all three of them, that's it. It's not really worth it, whereas these are worth fifty each. And you can carry nine in a stack, so it's don't even bother with the vortex with the vortex cubes. Not worth your time. Okay, south. Let's head it towards that dwelling and see what it is. Odd. I actually don't recognize it from here. Could be a tower. Whenever it tells you that, put it in immediately, because if it drops below 18%, you'll have to use two. Oh, okay. Uh, huh. Is that... I can't see it. I'm going to go towards that because I want to see if I can get that. That's in the cave, which means it is a creature for the cave. And I can't see it from here. It's moving. still can't see you and you're through there wait where'd you go so why is this important because if we can find all of them found site Pokemon for a second there and I apologize but if we can find all of them then is it a flying creature outside? those are flying creatures where's the one that I just saw though? oh this is maddening because if it's a cave dwelling animal and you just found one of the rare ones, to complete it out, you get a ton of nanites. Yeah, there he is right there. Let's. Thanks, Ollie. Ollie, my cat. Okay, there's the flying ones. Where's the stationary one that was right there? 
He disappeared. Okay. We're going to continue on. This is... Nope. There he is again. Sorry, I had to pause there to get a couple of morning sneezes out of my head. Oh, great, there is a predator that attacks here. Unless he's just pissed at me. Tasty and nectar? Nah, he's just upset. Alright, first things first, before we get any further, we're going to go ahead and hit this. We can get a save point going. And it looks like we got a few extra creatures there. Let me just see if I've got all of them. I do. I don't see any other creatures. Now, there were some flying creatures, as we all saw, kind of going all over the place. I don't see them now, but I'm sure they'll show up later. We'll go inside in just a second. We're up to six to eight. Uh, we've got one flying, one underground. That figures. Okay. Let's get inside this building and take a look. Excellent. Alright, there's usually a couple things in here, but I think all we're going to get is nothing. Okay. A couple of seats, a couple of lack of radiation. Let's find out where this tells us things are. So this is going to be numerical sequence. I'm guessing the answer is 720. Didn't even see the question yet. Let's see where it is. How many days away it is from where I'm located. <clears throat> That's nowhere in the general distance. Oh boy. Ten hours. We ain't walking, folks. Matter of fact, it's in a general direction from where we are. Yeah, it is happens to be in the general direction, so we'll head that way. There ain't no way we're going all the way there. Okay, so how do we look in regards to supplies? Let's drop you down here. Okay. Take a look around real quick. So we're heading south. So another buried cache right there. I think we're going to hit that. And we do have some plants around. So... never shows you. It's one of the things I wish... I don't know. Maybe it would make it too easy. Huh, an oxygen patch. I wish it, it probably does make it too easy if we were to do that, but it's one of the complaints that several of us have, have had regarding the transmission towers. It's like, hey, we found something for you, but it's not the closest thing. So, then why bother? You know what I mean? Why would you show me something that's only on the side of the planet? Like, sometimes I hit a transmission, one of those uh, little towers that show you where the, the local trading post is, and it shows you one on the other side of the planet, not the one that's right there. So that kind of bothers me a little bit. There we go. Hello. Excuse me. Hey, a little sodium. I'll grab it while we're here. All right. So I've gone through several of these where I didn't go after the buried cache. Cache. Nah, that's a big debate. Species recording. Now, does that add anything? It gives us money, and that's about it. Nanites and stuff like that. But it doesn't add anything to the fauna that you're discovering. Okay, so... Uh, three stars. What is that? Sack venom. Can't get it yet. Buried cash. That's good. 
Prepared mineral? No, I'm not really worried about that. Let's go for this since it's only 90 away. So let's see what we got. Interesting. Let's put it outside of the cave, too. Hit it once, so you can hit it with the one battery. Okay, so we're heading south. Cargo drop. Let's head over there, and looks like we've got some more buried technology along the way, and raw berries. the cargo drop. Looks like we only have the one canister. I'm going to take it for now, but I'm not... don't know if I'm going to use it. We'll see. I can always get rid of it. Oh, dihydrogen jelly. That's nice. Any of those flying creatures floating around? No? Okay. Okay. Back to heading south. Alright, so we're going to hit this thing. It's another cargo drop over here. I think. I could have been mistaken. I was mistaken. It was just that. There we go. Wrong one. Okay, 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 okay. Four salvage data, bunch of nanites, okay. Let's head on. Uh, let's see, looks like we got some more plants. Gamma weed this time. I think we're gonna head in that direction. I'll head this way first. That is further out. Okay. Back to the mining beam so we can pick stuff up along the way. Yep, can't get that yet. Okay. Kind of going the back way of getting to this thing. Another species thing. Life support power. Let's go ahead and build that back up. Put you down here. This will give us a another life support gel. We'll need more carbon soon. Put you down here. All right, heading south. What's next? We're gonna hit this gamma, this strawberries, and then get the gamma weed over there. Gamma weed over there. Okay, we're gonna hit the the strawberry first. And while we're going, we'll get some carbon on the way. And keep an eye out for the condensed carbon while we're at it, because we know what we need to use to charge our beam. This isn't going to last forever. Okay. Nighttime's a good time, because we can find... Because we can find a lot of things that glow, like oxygen, like sodium, etc., etc. And there's our first uh, sentinel. Okay. South. What is out this way? Oh, that's the gamma weed. That's right, that's right. We can't really do anything with that. Okay. Cargo drop. Let's hit it.
cargo drop go? Oh, it's right here. It's behind us. I don't think we can get to it. Yep. Well, well we'll get some of it. Oh, condensed carbon. Oh, it's worth it then. Okay. So let's see. We're heading mostly south. Uh, I don't see anything up this way. So let's head to this buried cache. Buried technology, pardon me. Because we're going to need money. And we'll pick things up on the way. And don't forget to get carbon, Paul. Got our mining beep beam equipped. We're ready to go. Again, hopefully my volume is alright. Uh, really under wish I understood that. Oh great, they're going to start investigating me getting plants. Uh, that's going to be fun. Not annoying at all. Let's see. Jettison pod. Why not? Let's do... Get that back up to snuff. Again, we'll take it for now, but we're probably going to be getting rid of it. Ion battery. Now, see, that was worth it. We'll go ahead and use it now. And I'm going to get rid of the ammunition because we really don't need it. Uh, that wheat is worth it. Uh, let's see. I still don't see anything around that's worthwhile. that while we're at it, or another sentinel says, hey, you're not supposed to have that. So what does that give us? Hazard protection. Very nice. So look for the wheat. The wheat will be handy for us. It's not the most efficient means of getting things done, but it is, it's free requires nothing but clicking on it and taking it. So, it doesn't even cost any carbon. Uh, there's literally nothing in this direction. Looks like we have some broken machinery. I'll go over there. There. Okay. Good grief. Getting up hills right now. Hey, how about some hazard protection? Maybe on a toxic world? No, I give you nanites. Thank you. It's like a consolation prize. All right, south. What do we got? Nothing. Let's go for the buried cache. Gosh, Shay, I'm gonna keep doing that. I swear, I'm going to just keep doing it. Now that I've done it once, I can't help it. Where'd they go? I don't see them. There they go. They're going left. So it is over there someplace, too. Wow, there's a lot of condensed carbon around these parts. Excellent. Very nice. If it's going over there... Oh, crap. Very 
nice. That worked. All right, life support could use a boost. How much oxygen we have? We do have a good amount, but I'm going to use the life support gel for now. Uh, not going to go in there just yet. We're okay. That's nice to be able to say that. So these guys, oh, hello, 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 are very handy to get oxygen from. Something I didn't know about the little gra the, the, the pods on the outside. Just don't want to be near when they go off. And if there's a sentinel drone nearby, they don't like you doing this. There it is. Okay, so where'd my buried cash go? Right there. Another species record. Every now and then you get something really cool. Huh. Interesting. We'll use the oxygen next. I didn't realize we were so high on oxygen. Eight, nine. Excellent. Put you over here. I like you. Okay. Okay, so we're heading this way. Sweet root. And some buried tech. Let's get the buried tech. I don't see any settlements or anything. Investigating. Never mind. No, they weren't investigating yet. Oop, that, that hurt. That hurt. Careful. No skipping down the mountain, buddy. Okay, he just went down the other side and didn't go anywhere else. That's strange. I know it's a single ship, but still. You kind of expect it to pop up someplace. Anyway. Alright, let's get this buried. Technology. Oh, good. It's near one of those things, too. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Back to the mining beam. Where is my... Damaged machinery is inside of this. Fascinating. Come on. All right, more nanites. Thank you. Okay, very technology there. Oh, we got a house sweetness. So, all right, we'll go that way. Tempting, but I'll go that way. Okay. getting a little low. Just a little boost on the way there. Huh, looks like another building up there on the hill. Uh, not much of anything, I think. Oh, no, it might be another tower. But not that it makes a difference. Once you find one craft, until you find it, until you actually uh, get within range of it, you can't discover another one. This is a useless spot, huh? I'll go ahead and grab that too. Oh, okay, trading. Ow. That hurt. I think I busted an ankle there. So about an hour in. Maybe a little less. Let's see what we got. Let's sell the salvage data. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the ionized cobalt. I could turn it into cobalt, I know. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the rusted metal. We're finding enough ferrite dust that I think we're going to stay salient. So, 
We'll just go ahead and get rid of it. It's not much. What can we buy? Anything worthwhile? Silver mirror. Nope. Eh, 60. Yeah, look at that. Unbelievable. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab a metal plate because I want to make a... Well, yeah. No, I'm not going to grab it. I was going to grab it. I'm not going to now. All right, let's head up to this place. At least we'll get indoors for a little bit. There's another place right over here, too. Let's go there first, I think. We'll hit the cargo drop on the way. It's around here someplace. Right there. Wow, talk about you on your outcroppings here. Yeah, let me guess, 8,000 steps? Oh, no, money, okay. Entrepreneur. Well, thank you, thank you very much. A little bit of oxygen. No reason to destroy the thing. Just go ahead and take what it's got and run on. Watch your jetpack, watch your jetpack. There we go. Alright, what do we got? Okay. Nice. Good deal. We'll go ahead and destroy that this time and take what's inside. Gek Relidic. Alright, well, sometimes they're worth a little bit. Okay. So, we know there's a place up on the hill here, and it's not in the general direction we're going. So do we go up there, or do we just go this way? I think we should just continue on, because we kind of know what this place is. So, yeah. I want some grawberries. Breakfast. And, yeah, grawberries will work. There's another damaged machinery over there. We should actually hit that, because not only will we get some buried technology near it, We might get ourselves an exosuit upgrade, which would be nice. In the form of maybe, I don't know, a radiation shield? Although, you know, if I can find some uranium... Hmm... Alright, let's... It's not a bad idea. Salt. Uranium. Son of a gun. Um, hi there. I didn't see you guys. Then I don't need batteries anymore. Ugh, a life support gel. Go figure. And I need to use one right now. There we go. Let's get that, because I almost forgot. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab this, because if we can do that, we won't need batteries anymore. Well, you. Okay. I don't know what I heard. We do need some carbon at some sort, at some point. See, we have to use two, but it's not a big deal. We could have just used one, but you know what? This may just get us what we need. Hate being on a slippery surface while I'm doing this. Now we can carry 300. So if we can get 300 out of this one spot, that'll be good. Well, we can 
could find more, obviously, but... How much do we have so far? Why does it keep defaulting there? 250. Nice. Let's uh, increase the size a little bit and clear this out. Because we'll get some silicon out of it to recharge. I don't get quite as much as if we did it in the small way. But we'll get all of it. Okay. There we go. And that will clear out some of our inventory at the same time. So... We have 300, and we can start using this for our recharging awesomeness. And this is for our life support, right? There we go. And that's hazard protection. There we go. Let's get rid of you. And how much are you worth? 23,000. No, that's not too bad. It's not working. You gotta be kidding me. I can only use sodium. Because I need a shield. Alright, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. I know it seems like a useless waste at this point, but it could be worth it to us. <clears throat> Pardon me, down the long stretch here. No. No. Okay, let's just head south. I forgot all about that. Well, that was useless. <clears throat> you learned something new from me. Of yet again, something not to do. Let's add that element into this. I'm going to investigate every single time I want to get some carbon. Okay. Let's see if anything else has shown up. Mineral. Hey, while we're here. Okay, we got here. So the only thing left we have is a guy in a cave, and that's it. <clears throat> that doesn't sound right. Sorry. Not sure where we're going with that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Actually, I have a cave nearby for some reason where. Hey. And there's a monolith right there. Well, we'll head towards it because that's my general direction. Let's see where our friends are going. Left or right? Come on. To the left. Interesting. Terrain is just terrible. Okay, how far in? A little over an hour. Okay, let's see what we got here. So there's the monolith. Is it worth our time? Let's find out. Something that's going to be a full circus from our scene, which just wants itself dead. 
shoot the creature. Mercy kill. And what do I get? I learned some words, and I think I've got something in my inventory. see anything How about you guys but oh I got another geck relic that's what I got that's very nice of it all right we're south this way uh, let's see looks like we've got a bunch of stuff ahead of us let's go with the buried tech that's right there uh, let's get out of the way of that block Ugh. Sounds like my stomach. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Well, that's why we recorded it. More salvage data. Hey, another house. Building thing. Uh, no, not you. 192. Well, heading in that direction, so we'll go ahead and grab it. 107. Okay, let's grab that one first. So maybe it might be a minor settlement and we have to sell this stuff. A little bit of a temporary glitch there. And if it's an actual building, we can get inside. by looking. Let's go ahead and grab these and get ourselves boosted. It's not. Okay, well, let's get our radiation protection back up. That's life support. Actually, how much sodium we got? We got plenty. We'll use that this time. Okay. Go to you. Okay. To hydrogen. All right, well, that's handy. Let's get a life support gel. Uh, let's. Can I make more? Nope, I don't have any more. This is life support. There we go. Okay, looks good. Okay, what do we got? Shield module. Or, I think, a ship. No, no, it's for me. Well, I'll go ahead and put it in. Core health. Nice. So we get extra health out of that. That's excellent. So we get an extra plus out of it, though it's not it's gonna be empty until we can find a <clears throat> life support kit. Alright, another drink. Alright, let's see what we got. Mutant plant. Yeah, buried cash. This is off south, right? Yes. There's a lot of stuff here, but not anything of what I'm looking for. All right, let's go for the buried cache. Well, it's in our general direction anyway. Being a little bit low on batteries, we're probably gonna want to find a cave soon. Grab some co more cobalt. No, 
still species records. Hmm. Nice. Okay. Let's get the glyph. Very technology. And keep going. So, you know, it's a slog, but you know, you get to a point when you're playing this permadeath run that you start to realize that, okay, I've got this. And it's not as I'm not gonna say it's not as challenging, but it's definitely easier to perform after a little while you know uh, it's not as a challenge but you still have to remember not to do anything stupid well okay we'll stop here there it is and where did that there it is that we're gonna get a second update but More nanites, that's what I thought. Okay, so south is that way. Okay. Let's go for the buried cache. That's right, I was thinking it, I didn't say it out loud. Multi-tool expansion slots. You know that that's worth it. Although I'd love to expand my multi-tool right now, it's still worth eighty-five thousand units. So that was worth it. Hey, while we're here, let's use up this last one. Oh, I already did. Okay, good. We could use some plants. I don't see any that are worth my time. This is south. Got another piece of broken machinery up there. But I would rather go for the cargo drop. Ouch. That hurt. Oh, I almost had it. One. I just used two by accident. And that was a waste. Okay, two boxes. See so what we get. Corvax casing. Yay. I'll hang on to them long enough to sell them, but if they get in the way, I got an iron battery. Okay, well that that helped. Jettison pod. Let's go ahead and grab it. There was something over here, wasn't there? I saw something. Yep, 8,000 steps. You hope you found something by now, but... Subterranean relic. Subterranean relics mean caves. What do you say? Where is it? There you are. There we go. Alright, let's get some of this uh, wonderful cobalt. We'll make a few more batteries real quick. Remember to keep the beam as hot as you can because you will acquire. It will not only harvest faster, but you can sometimes get more out of it. Excellent. Let's get some more batteries out of that. Nope. Okay. Here we go. Oh, six left. Let's 
get just a little bit more. I need four. There you go. That way we efficiently use it up. There you go. We don't need you. We'll debate keeping you. I don't think we're going to need you. We'll get rid of you. On a normal run, I would have kept it. You're really not worth it. Okay, that leaves us with uh, four slots open. Uh, we have some O2 in here, huh? I think we'll use some of that up because we got too much. Let's get rid of this. I don't think we need that either. Okay, we're in good shape. All right, let's go up. Uh, up, I think, yes. Which way is south? That way is south. Uh, let's see. Cargo drop. Yeah, that looks like the entrance. No, it is not. So sometimes, you know, the caves could be buried underneath other stuff. So it's probably a good idea to dig down occasionally. Oh, a gek relic. Does that make three, I think? Yes, it does. So we got a full stack. Hopefully we won't get any more of those. South, 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 south. Another cargo drop. Let's hit it. Because we seem to be getting good stuff from the cargo drops. For the most part. Corvax casing. Except for the projectile ammunition. We don't need right now. Okay. Look what we found. And guess what that means? 2,000 nanites. So if we ever get anywhere, we can spend it. And that's why you do it, folks. I'm telling you. I know that Jason and some of those guys don't usually do it, but it's just, to me, it seems to be so worth it to do it. Especially on a normal run or something like that. Discover all the animals on a planet, if you can. Sometimes they're hard. Like sometimes when you have like four uh, creatures that are... Did I just pass by a cache? Yes, I did. Son of a gun. Lost igniter. Got to do it. And we just got some rusted metal out of it. We're heading south, right? There it is. Oh my gosh. How do you get in this terrain? procedurally generated to make life difficult for you. Let's do that one now. There we go. It gives us some, some credits, so at least that's something, but sometimes it's just not really worth it, you know? Floating crystals, which we can't do anything with whatsoever. Grawberries. Ah... Uh, well, we're going this way. Let's hit the grawberries. Right into a rock. Oof. And a little bit of sodium while we're here. But what if you're on a low sodium diet? Oh, it's underground. Well, I'm not going to worry about it then. What's next? Set the cargo drop. Okay. I was hoping to find something by now. There's a 
projectile ammunition. Let's get rid of you. Uh, there we go. Use that up. Oxygen. There we go. Okay, let's take a peek. South. I think we would have found something by now, you know. I wasn't trying to do that. Trying to get rid of it. Okay, sorry. That was really strange. That guy's heading a little further south. Ouch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut it out. As long as I don't damage anything. Damaging something while you're out here in this permadeath mode is can, can be deadly. So that is an area that you do need to be careful of. Ugh. Love Sentinels. Me too. Eat them for breakfast. Although I gotta, I gotta admit, um, I didn't record this, of course, unfortunately. But I got into one heck of a battle during the Leviathan mission. See, I, I like to play the missions over again, because by doing so, you're contributing to the whole of the optional achievements as a group. So it helps out everybody in the long run if you can do that. So while I'm playing, I decided to go ahead and do a sentinel shutdown by taking out every sentinel I could and going through the five-star battle. And it was a battle royale like you wouldn't believe. It was on a, on a mountainside on an infested planet, and it was just absolutely incredible. thought I was going to die a few times. I was shaking by the time I was done. It was crazy. It's like, dude, this is just a game. Chill out. But you couldn't help it. Hmm. That might be worth taking the diversion. And it was kind of crazy. It was really crazy. It was like, you know, you got the two-legged walker, uh, like the ad at is just following you around. ATST, I should say. Uh, is following you around at the same time. And uh, they had the other walker there, as well as the quad, all at the same time. And it was just incredible. Flying around this mountainside, trying to keep ahead of them and flying all over the place while shooting. It was just, it was pretty cool, to say the least. Uh, I can't get either one of those. I get the little guys. Well, the big guys, not happening. Okay, that's all right. South, south, south. Hey, hi there. I could use some plant. What do we get out of that? Hazard protection. There we go. Uh, let's see. Let's just head south. Because at this point we're not finding anything. Single ship. Not much going on when you have single ships. There we go. I mean, it's no harm in watching them. By keen effigy. Well, I'll hang on to it for now. Looks like we got everybody involved. Buried cash. Just because I'm heading south, I'll go ahead and check it out. I can't believe I haven't found any <clears throat> settlements or anything yet. Ouch. Is that... Yeah, I think it is. Oh, can't do that one. Yeah, get the little ones. Back to daytime. 
Huh, gold. Now, see, gold is actually worth some money. So we'll hang on to that. It's about the only item you can get that's worth something. Platinum's worth a little bit more. You can get your hands on some. Okay, let's go this way. Again, you know, we're mostly looking for buildings, crashed ships, anything at this point. So now those two guys are heading in my direction. Let's see which way they go. Ah, we're not going to see them. We're going to be too low. Ouch. Go ahead and grab the cadet's carbon. Magnetized ferrite, huh? Not really worth it. <clears throat> I'm going to get rid of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hang on a sec. Okay. So, let's see. That gives me hazard protection, which is already dropping. Uh, we got extra oxygen. Let's go ahead and drop it in here. Okay. Put some sodium up there. Okay, let's move on. South. Nothing. This is pathetic. I know there's got to be something around here. I mean, we found some settled, uh, some, I don't know, some abandoned campsites. That's pretty much all I could look at in this vein, I guess. Okay, I'm out of there before you had a chance, my friend. Uh, more mineral records. How much money we got? Almost a million. Okay. It would be... Good grief, this is incredible. It's literally nothing around here. Now, I've had this happen to me before. I was on a planet that literally had no landing pads. I actually had found a crashed ship, and I wandered, I flew around for a little while afterwards, and I found nothing. Nothing. And I got to realize that it was one of these places that literally didn't have anything. You do run across them on occasionally. I mean, there was animals and stuff like that, and you'd expect to find something, but it was just like, okay, well, this wasn't really worth my time then. Ah. There we go. And we're going to have to get my life support up to snuff. Yep. Guess what? 10,000 steps. Uh, you don't see any houses either, do you? Okay, stop. Get out of the way. Nothing. <sighs> okay, come on. We can do this. Let's have this stupid landscape. Also, another good thing you can do is you can get up to a high ground. Uh, no reference to Star Wars there, folks. And you can yell at Anakin. No, you can get up to high ground and try to look in the distance. If you got your field of view set as high as you can, which on the ground when I'm running around like this, I have it set to 100. I have it set to maximum. And you can look to see if there is indeed any place nearby. You can watch some ships fly over and see where they're headed and hopefully find something. So, 
In my case, uh, yeah. Hey, have to wait. Let's go ahead and grab that. Then get up there. Ah, this is an annoying run. Let's get up to the high ground. Let's do that. towards something else. Let's go up here. Gotcha. <laughs> Before you could use two. Up top. I see nothing. Wow. A whole lot of nothing. Getting up to that one might be a good idea. Let's get the damage machinery. And break my ankles on the, in the meantime. If you did get a chance to check out that Minecraft video we did, um, I have a blast with the kids, um, honestly. Our family, we do a family night all the time we eat dinner together as a family we really we try to pull back the old traditions if you will that families used to have many many moons ago and that was pretty cool and uh we really we have a blast we really really do and having my daughter there who's got her own apartment and everything like that uh, was really cool look the famous unburied technology Life support module. Well, that's worth it. Where'd those ships go? Up and over. I don't want to go into my menu yet until I see them go in the distance. They're going straight, so I wonder if that mining platform is out that way. That ought to help. What is it going to give me? Good. Uh, let's use some of the oxygen. And what is this? Hazard? No, it's not. It went up. Liars. So that was cool. I got a nice life support module. That is actually worth my time. Uh-oh. Ouch. <laughs> oh, yeah, and if you've seen my videos... Uh, well, you know, talk about the Minecraft. We had a really, really great time. And uh, it was like two hours long, but we just... We had an absolute blast. And... My daughter says to me, she, uh, my oldest daughter says to me, she goes, you know, I really had a great time. Um, we got to do this again. I'm like, yeah, definitely. We're definitely going to do it again. Um, I know I'm one of a gazillion people that are doing Minecraft on occasionally, but I've been playing Minecraft since, uh, for over 10 years. And I'm not by any means fantastic at it. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually played Minecraft um, I play every now and then with my son once in a while, and he's he's getting really good considering how old he is. He's still young. Um, he's getting very good at it, better than I am. He can whoop my butt anytime. But um, hmm, that broken machinery down there. I may check that out. Just wondering where he's going. All right, he's just speeding away and up to the sky. And back down again. Okay, so general direction over here is where we want to go. So just to the left of that, over in that general direction. Okay, let's get the machinery. Nice, huh? Got to do it right. And we had a, we had an absolute blast. Absolute blast. Really, the kids got to do that every now and then, you know? And even if it was just friends, you know, getting a, a group of people together, two or three people together, at least three, usually adds a lot of charm and charisma to 
playing. I gotta check my inventory real quick. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, so I'll put you in there to get rid of you. There's my gold. Yeah, we're maxing out our inventory here. We gotta find some place soon. Okay, let's just go. Just gonna head out, run. Okay, there's three ships right there. I remember one run I did that had ships landing next to me all the time. And I was like, what the heck? No money. Offering me upgrades that I couldn't use. None of them. I mean, they didn't have any life support upgrades or anything like that. Nothing that would have helped me in any way. And I didn't have anything yet in order to sell. So I thought that was funny as all heck. So, and as I started to say earlier, one of the things about uh, permadeath, as you may have found if you watched my space jumps, literally you cannot kill yourself from falling. You can kill yourself if you're stupid. I'm not going to mention any names. Like, don't get on board a derelict freighter and then uh, get killed by the bugs that are on board. Because one thing it tells you as you get out of your ship, nothing is saved while you're on board a derelict ship. There are no autosaves. So, you have the opportunity on those rare occasions to quickly reload. Oh, crap. See? This is what I'm talking about. I just fell. That would have killed me in the old permadeath. I thought I had enough of a charge on my back on my uh, jetpack to save me at the end, but I obviously didn't. Where'd you go, guys? Okay, you're going that way. I predict they're gonna head left. And there they go. So they're heading that way. So what we're looking for is we're looking for them to start circling. If they start to circle, then we're in good shape. They go up, they go down. It should be in this general area, I believe. And then they vanish, I think. Yeah, they're heading out that way. Yeah, they vanish. Okay, so let's go that way. I know I'm watching it this time. I don't want to break my ankles again. All right, let's see. Anything along the way. I cannot believe, and I'm sure you're looking at this too, saying, where in the world are all the settlements? Where, where are the little campsites? There's nothing. This is going to be one of those, man, you got the most unluckiest run in a while. Um, yeah, no kidding. me some nanites. That's good. Love those little blue flowers. There we go. You guys are going that way this time. Okay. Well, I'm headed in this direction. Anything. Anything at all. Nothing. Unbelievable. Okay, well, I don't want to get this run going too, too much longer without calling it for a little while. And then we will continue in another episode. Wow, this is just incredible. I can't find anything. Hi, guys. Really? <laughs> That's called the... When you injure yourself once and then it hits you again like that, it's like it's it's called kicking you while you're down. Yeah, yeah. Didn't think that hurt too bad. How about this? 
I don't know. I guess we'll call it the Mafia hit. Yeah, it was an accident. Horrible accident. My kids are listening to this. They know I'm going to say it. Finally, something. I'll head there. Just because... That's a good thing, right there. We're gonna need it. So we gotta get up this hill. Apparently you can't climb hills in permadeath mode. You know how sometimes it gives you a zero charge and allows you to get up a hill. In permadeath, it doesn't do that. You've got to use your, your jetpack. That's why you can die easily in permadeath mode if you fall. If you continue to fall and continue to take damage over and over and over again. Well, it's a little better. I can go inside and chill out for a little bit. Okay. I'm not going to worry about getting any carbon, uh, uh, cobalt right now. That was our inventory book. Really need to find some place to sell this stuff. We're going to cut it at the two hour mark, so we're about 15 minutes away from that. Let's go check out the other one real quick. We'll call it at the two hour mark and we'll pick up on another video. Okay, there's another one. Can't just select it. I don't know why. Alright. So we found some place. But it is not a place that we wanted to find. Okay, so we're going to head in this general direction. Let's grab the Growberry. That will get our life support up to snuff. Where are we here? Good deal. Let's hope that we find some place that we can trade. Uh-oh. Broken ankle again. Gonna kick me? Give me a mafia smack? I think it just did. Unbelievable. All right. Really? Ugh, you gotta be kidding me. That's what happens if you get below halfway. Fortunately, we have some ferrite dust. We'll need more. There we go. I want a little bit more ferrite because I don't want that happening again at a very inopportune moment. Wow, this is taking a while. And that's all I got out of it, 13. There we go. Okay. All right. What do we got? Nothing. More nothing. So what we'll end up doing, if I can't find a settlement to stop at in the next uh, 10 minutes or so, I'm going to find a cave. We'll stop there.
Very frustrating run. I was hoping that this would be a little bit more exciting, but this is more along the lines of... Uh... I mean, we've got some nice upgrades for the exosuit. At least that's something. But I don't know how much they're helping me at this point. The sack Venom's worth a lot if you can get the hazard uh, uh, hazmat gloves. But... We're running low on inventory space, so I'm not sure how much of these things we're going to be able to to grab. Just about at the end here. Come on. More nanites. Alright. Switch over. Where'd he go? There he is. Let's see, where are we at? Anything. Anything at all. No buildings, nothing. Oh, wait, 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 what do we got? An unknown building at 555. Okay. Ah, let's hope we can find something. Maybe it'll be at least a Minor settlement, we can grab so we can sell some of this crap off. Come on, come on. Uh, monolith. Great. That was useless. Nothing we can do with a monolith. Another unknown building in the distance. We'll take it. Looks like we got a bonus. We got two. Good. We have an open spot. Just in case we do get an upgrade out of one of these. Nanites, okay, let's get the other one. Come on. And an upgrade. Radiation protection. Holy crap. We'll take it. Fantastic. Now that was definitely worth it. Glad I did it. I couldn't I could have skipped it. But that's why you check those things out. Okay, maybe we'll get fortunate with the building here. It'll be, even if it's just a minor settlement, we can sell some of the stuff in our inventory and call it. But if not, if it's just a building, we'll go ahead and call it right there, because we're just about at the two-hour mark now. Even though our timer says 140, because you know I started it late. <clears throat> Yep, you're right. Oh, that's not what I needed. Yeah, we are now full. There we 
go. Let's go ahead and get the waypoint and see if there's any buildings nearby. We get the pullback view with no clouds. Look at the outer areas and see if you see anything. And I see literally nothing. So hopefully this will point us in the direction of something close by. Seven hours. You suck. Okay. Well. I think we're just going to have to call it. That's all there is to it. We are... Go ahead and get rid of that. We don't need it anymore. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this. We don't need that anymore. Okay. I don't know why it thinks we have an abundance of silicon. But we do. So, anywho. And you know what we can recharge our unit with? Uranium. Woohoo! See? Isn't that great? So, anyway. I guess we're going to have to call this. We need to find a cave or something we can crash in at this point. Let's head this direction. It's mostly south. We've kind of gone around in a circle there. Ugh. Terrain. Unbelievable. At least the jetpack charges rather quickly. seven hours. Alright guys, where are you headed? Where are you headed? Show me something promising. That way. I'm sorry, I had to do it. Up and to the left, as usual. So it's over this way. And are you going anywhere else? Up and down. I want to say it's in this general direction, then. Okay, good deal. Didn't break my ankle that time. Yay! Uh-oh. Okay, good. Phew. Open ground. Watch what happens. Let's throw a bunch of rocks in there all of a sudden. Hey, let's go ahead and get that health restoration. Get rid of that. Okay, so at this point, if we stumble across a cave or something, we're going to go ahead and put the pause on. guys, left or right? Up and down. Okay, so yeah, it's it's just right in this general direction. It's in between the two points. A little bit to the left. So that's where we're going to find our base. Now what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get up to a high point. Uh, base. Uh, trading post, I'm guessing. Got 
to get my feet to charge faster is the only problem. Well, that sounds familiar, huh? It's like in real life. Okay, I'm going to take the plant. Hello there. You too. Ugh, that's so annoying. Ugh, there. Okay, we're up. That way. So, it should be in this general direction. I'm not seeing anything. I see they're even they're curving to the left. Ah, I'd love to get up to the top of that place. Because we're not seeing where they ended up. It's actually worth my time. How much do we have? Carbon plus, we've got plenty of. Okay, I'm not going to take any more. We're actually full. Oh, crap. See what I mean? At least we have four hearts now. Four pluses? I don't know what you want to call them. Let's get up this hill. Come on, baby. You can do it. Now, I expect... There to be noise here soon. As it's getting a little later in the morning, and usually this is about the time when everybody starts to wake up. That's why I do my recordings early. Before I get my exercises done. There literally is nothing around me. Isn't this funny? Alright, so we postulate that the landing pad is this way. We're at just about the tallest point. We're not at the tallest point, but we're at a pretty tall point. And they're going the wrong way. Okay. Should we go to that one? I think we should go to that one. Let's get up to another 12 point. So we can just find some ships that are... Oh, they went between the mountains. How interesting. Up and over. They were popping out the other side. They didn't pop out the other side. Oh, there they go. See? They're doing the same thing in the same spot. Okay, really think we should go over there. <sighs> Gotta get it just right. Not bad. Only lost a little bit of health. No damage. Okay, good deal. And we got a cave. All right. Yeah, I think we need to call it. Because I don't want these videos lasting, you know, 14 hours. Uh, what did I get? Hmm. Oh, that. More of the useful stuff. Okay. So. Is it a cave? It doesn't look like a cave. No, no it just looks like a shelf. It is a cave. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to call it here. I'm going to go ahead and camp in the cave. And I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't move on a little bit while I play offline. Off recording? Off recording. Put the milestone of 12,000, 15,000. Yeah, I missed one. And I will see you folks 
in the next video. Thank you for watching. Um, again, not the most exciting video. Uh, let's go ahead and pause here. Not the most exciting video, of course. Um, I think we had a really great time doing it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. hope you learned a little bit as well. But I do like these runs. Um, and I appreciate all of you keeping an eye on these things and watching them and uh, making comments and stuff like that. I really appreciate what you do. Um, it's a great community that we're part of in the No Man's Sky community. Uh, I encourage you all to watch uh, Jason Plays, of course. I was watching a small excerpt from Zane's World as well. That's X X A. I N E apostrophe S Zane's world. Um, he did a little 20, 25 minute video on the expedition with just narration and showing you excerpts from the expedition itself that gave you a lot of clues on how to get the, the expedition done in a reasonable amount of time. And, uh, it actually helped me out as well, even after I played it a few times. So, um, apparently there are predatory creatures on the starting planet. They're just not attacking you. So you have to look for a creature that says that it feeds on organs, and that's how you know. So anyway, a little byplay on that. Uh, again, appreciate everything that you folks do. Please hit the like button. I really appreciate it. And subscribe if you haven't, honestly, because I'll keep doing these videos and I'll keep going. I enjoy doing them. That's the whole point. I'm not looking for a whole lot out of this, but I enjoy doing it. I enjoy playing the game. And this has been something I've been wanting to do for a long time. So, And we'll probably keep going for... Even even longer time, as long as I've got an internet connection and a computer that works, we'll be doing this. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. So basically, I spoke too soon. Um, probably should have done this earlier. So what we got here is, if you look at the time, I've literally been playing for over five hours, and I finally found myself a landing platform. Um, I have crossed the 40,000... Okay, Mark, to give you a rough idea of how long it's been, I don't, I'm not even collecting anything anymore. I've got upgrades for my scanner, I've got upgrades for my mining laser, um, my exosuit has upgrades for landing ship, some ships landed and I was able to purchase these with my nanites that I had, so I've got upgrades galore for everything including that uh, gamma shield for my, for that. I've got uranium, a dioxide. I don't even have to have batteries anymore. So, yeah, the amount of stuff I've collected over this uh, period of time has been literally ridiculous. So, we're doing pretty darn good, and we're about to get ourselves a ship. You see I have, like, uh, almost 11 million in, in units, cash, credits, however you want to put it. So, finally, finally making it. So I wanted to catch the last couple moments. I've run into a couple of minor settlements along the way, so I was able to sell stuff. Not to mention the trading, uh, little trading posts and stuff like that, where it's just a little terminal that you can trade at. So, finally. Finally, finally, finally. So you can see that these no starter ship challenges, I'd like to see them last about an hour and a half. No longer than that. I'd love to see if I can get it under 30 minutes one day, but, you know, it's all, you know, how everything falls and how you come across the items that you need. So, here we are. And I should have enough juice in my jetpack to get all the way up to the landing platform itself. 5 million, 13 million. Getting like a nice fighter or something. A little snub nose fighter there for 11. 63 million. Let's just go ahead and purchase this little guy right here. So I'm not even going to bother with trading. Let's go ahead and make an offer on his ship. That's a C-Class. Nothing special. 5 million. As you can see, I've got 10.6 million. We're going to go ahead and buy it. Not exchange, but buy it. We now have ourselves a ship. This is complete. So, yes, we could update our exosuit. I ran across so many pods, I've literally got this whole area filled in. I was able to get an extra spot in my technology area. Uh, the next ones were going to go right here and then fill in down here. So I could keep going if I wanted to, but I decided against it. So anyway, that's how this one's going to end. I'm stopping the timer at a little over five hours. So, uh, yeah, that was uh, incredible. Absolutely incredible.
Um, I had one of these land near me, and yeah, it was about 138 million, and that's where I got one of the traders to trade some uh, upgrades and to sell off some stuff. Um, go ahead and get rid of whatever I've got in my inventory real fast, just to get rid of it. Though I'm gonna—I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm gonna be deleting this save anyway. So, yeah, this was uh, this was an interesting run. The planet was not the worst I've been on. Uh, I got some really nice pictures of it. I'm gonna be using a couple of them for. Um, some of my thumbnails, probably thumbnail for this one especially. Uh, so, really going to enjoy that. Anyway, check out the next videos as they come out. I'm going to be recording a bunch this week and uh, probably be posting them every other day or so. Uh, again, I hope you like that Minecraft video that we did as well. Uh, we'll probably be doing more of those. Um, I like No Man's Sky. I'm going to be consistent in doing No Man's Sky for the most part. But I will release videos on occasion of different little things. Minecraft being one of them. Uh, maybe a little Stardew Valley. I've got some Raft in here. Sable. Um, a couple Star Wars games that I've liked to play in the past. Uh, so I've got a lot of content I could play. But hope you enjoyed this today. Thank you very much. Hit that like button like I said before. See you all later.